Okay, for this lesson, we are not going to be using our red book today. We are going to start learning a new song, a real song that's not in the book. So we're going to start by reviewing the scale that we're going to use for this song. So this song is called Power Rock. If you haven't heard it, I'll make sure you get to hear it before um, this lesson is over. But the first thing we're going to do is review our minor scale. So depending on what instrument you play, that will tell you what your minor scale is. So if you're playing bells, flute, or trombone, you are playing your C minor scale. So C, D, E flat, F, and G. If you are playing clarinet or trumpet, you are playing a D minor scale. So figure out which one you are, and that's the one you're going to read. Once you get to the highest note, you go backwards. Notice that, of course, there is one more note on your cheat sheet, right? One more note lower. We don't play that when we are playing our minor scale. So some people got a little confused. They thought minor scale just means five notes. No, minor scale is the sound, the scale that sounds kind of sad. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, for our minor scale today, I'm putting my metronome on quarter note equals 120. So a little bit faster than we've done it before. So let's have a listen to that. Okay, and we're going to do one half note on each of these letters, forwards and backwards. So that means your foot's tapping kind of fast, right? Okay, then we would go. Da, 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 da. Maybe you can even do it in one breath. I don't know. Let's check it out. Remember, a half note is two clicks. Two clicks of the metronome for a half note. All right, so let's try it. One half note for each note of your minor scale. Here we go. One, two, one, two. Ready, play. <laughs> So there's a couple things you need to do to be able to play this song. The first thing you need to do is, if you can, please print out a copy of Power Rock on paper so that you can write on it with a pencil. There are two versions that you can print out. There's just a plain sheet of paper like I would have handed out in school, or I've made a copy with all the notes written in. So you decide which one you need. I know some people need the notes written in. I know some other people that's distracting to them and they don't need notes written in. So you figure out which one you're gonna use. If you can't print it, you need to have it open on your screen in another tab so that uh, you are looking at your own. You can also follow along with me, um, but it will be nice to have your own on paper or on your own screen so you can see what to do. So once you have everything, you probably want a pencil too if you're gonna print this out, okay? So we are looking at Power Rock. You see in parentheses, it says, we will rock you and another one bites the dust. When we get a new piece of music, there's a couple things we need to check out. I'm gonna scroll down here 
Um, and you can look to the bottom of your paper. Remember, we always talk about you need to find the end. Well, this song has lots of lines. It's not just one or two lines. So we scroll down and we're looking for the last measure. I'm looking for that double bar. Aha, and I see it over here. Now, I'm gonna ask you how many measures are in this song and I'll give you a little hint. You don't have to count all of them, okay? You can look at each measure has a number. There's even numbers in a big square. We'll talk about that in a little while, but look, I see one, two, three, so now we can scroll all the way to the bottom and find the highest number. We don't have to count all of them ourselves. They did it for us. I see 54, so there are 54 measures. No, we're not playing the whole song in one week, okay? We do usually go square to square. So let's have a look at the beginning of the song. Um, I see four measures, measures one, two, three, and four, where you don't play anything. All you have to do is count. Remember, these are whole rests. That means whole measures of not doing anything except waiting for your turn to play. So I see our time signature is 4-4. Four, four. So we will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4, 4, 2, 3, 4. Guess what? When you get to measure 5, it's a brass solo. That means trumpets and trombones have a solo. On the flute, bells, and clarinet part, there's something in measures one, two, three, and four. Don't worry, it's not just silence. So find measure five. Measure five is in a square, which means something new starts there. And usually your homework will be from square to square when we play. We don't play the whole thing at the first on the first try. So let's say some notes for measure five. You can put your finger right on it, you can put your cursor on it, or you can follow along with mine. Okay, I'll give you a hint. There are only six notes in this whole song, and it starts with an F, so let's say the notes. Of course, you can have your cheat sheet out if you need it. Here we go. One, two, say the notes. F, E, D, C, D, D. Rest, 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 rest. Measure nine. F, E, D, C, D, D. Rest rest, rest in measure 12. Okay, so what we need to remember is that when we're done with seven, we move our eyes right to eight. We don't skip eight, we just count one, two, three, four, and then we play at nine. So if you want to write your notes in because you picked the copy without the notes in it, that's fine. If you would like to just play it right now, I'm gonna move it down a little bit so it's at the top. Let's start at measure five. That means we're done with our rests. And we're gonna play right at measure five. Remember, we need to tap our foot so that we know how long is a half note, right? F, E, T, C, D, D. And if you didn't figure it out, that's we will, we will rock you. Obviously, we will go faster eventually. But let's give it a try. Here we go. Starting at five, stopping when you get to 13. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Three, four, one, two, measure nine. Three, four, one, two, there's 13 stops. So if we say five to 13, you don't play 13. You stop when you get to 13. Let's go back to measure one. We're going to count through all the rest and start playing at five. Here we go. This is measure one. One. Two, ready, count. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, ready, play. Three, four, one, two, ready, go. Three, four, one, two. Ready, stop. Okay, you are gonna record for me measure five to 13. And don't say, oh, I did five through seven and then I stopped because nine through 13 is the same. You have to do everything that's on the page starting from measure five. When your eyes get to 13, you can stop, okay? So I can't wait to hear your recordings for Power Rock measure five through 13.